today I'll be installing some pro taper bars on my Honda Grom these are the Honda mini bars I'm installing these because it's giving it a lower profile it extends it a little bit on the side it has a better grip on it and you know if you're gonna do some jumps these clamps right here are going to help the bar so that they don't bend but these are the Honda minis and they are not the KLX 110s if you're getting the KLX 110 they are a little bit higher but these are a little bit lower profile so I'll leave a link in the description about these bars if you want to read up on it I'm also installing Po Taper pillow grips I heard a lot of good reviews on these I'm installing the MZS short levers here and then finally I might put this on it's like a little motard supermoto type front fender so I might put that on at the end let's get to it unfortunate okay so first I am going to remove the grips right here and uh, I see a lot of people doing this they use a screwdriver right away right in here and it's super difficult so you know just get some vice grips first get a good hold on it and just turn it and it'll loosen it up really good and look it comes out like butter just like that right so that's how you get these bar ends out there we go same thing for the right side I already loosened them up okay so I'm just gonna remove the lever right here first and I'll remove this to the switch right here so that it gives me room to remove the grips and then it gives me room for the screw right here and then one last screw down here you don't really have to take them all the way out they can just be loose and I'll just slide it through so to remove these grips, I like to use a screwdriver right here and WD-40. I'm going to spray inside to loosen it up. Just got to wind it around a couple of times to loosen up the glue. Then it'll come out. There we go. All right, same thing on this side. There we go. Be careful with this brake fluid right here. Don't let it tip upside down. That's what I heard. I think it gets air bubbles and stuff and it'll affect things. So just keep it right side up. All right, so leave this bolted on because it's actually easier to remove the throttle over here the grip with it bolted on so that it doesn't slide. So let's do the same thing. And I'm removing this because I want to use the throttle, uh, the tube in here, reuse that for the new grips. And on this side right here, you gotta pry it. There we go. To get this out right here, uh, start with the bottom one, poke it through, poke the cable through like that, and then there's a hole right here, you line it up. Like that, pull it out. There we go. There's a zip tie down here that you can reuse. You just pull it up and slide it out. Pull the tab up, just like that. So, yeah, there's two of these. Make sure you save it. And then to remove this down here, there's going to be these little tabs right here. You got to pop them out first so that you can get to the allen bolts here all right so now for these allen bolts here i like to use a ratchet and i have this little attachment here that lets me attach 
this little allen key here and it makes it super simple to get leverage on it and break them open so it just comes out really easily so yeah this is a really good tool I'll try to link a lot of my tools in my description if you want to look them up no okay guys don't be a dork like me and drop that I would cover your tools like that because it's stuck in there somewhere I'm gonna have to try to get it out later there we go let's put on these pro taper bars right here I'm gonna slide this in put on these you know what I'm gonna have to remove this to do the installation all right let's try it again slide this in put this on all right so I think I have this locked down to a good size here I'm using the markers right here as a reference to align them centered and straight and I think I'm having these bars go a little bit br further up so that my seating position I can seat more comfortably like that because the original ones I think they came down too much like they came down like right here or something so I'm pushing them up a little bit all right so I'm just gonna put this side on first with the throttle and let's just get this back together so here's the thing for this right here there is a hole that you need to drill in because there's a notch on this notice right here there's a little hole so you got to make that same hole for the notch and what I see a lot of people do is they put tape around here and then when you put it back on it will indent the little notch for you and you just drill through that so I'll show you right here I'm gonna put it back together like this and then I'm going to line this to how I like it right about there um, you notice that I'm not leaving any spacing right here because I'm not doing bar and mirrors on him a lot of people would push them up like that so that you have room but I'm not and then my grips are going to be pretty tight so I want it to just be leveled right there so that looks good and what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze this together so that I can indent the tape with a hole squeeze it in tight and it should leave that little indentation mark when I re remove this and it did not so I'm gonna have to do it again <laughs> all right I got it this time there's a little dent right here that's where the hole is so I'm gonna drill that in make sure you measure out your drill bits before you start you don't want the hole to be too big and then start drilling also if you don't want to drill a hole down here you can also use electrical tape just wrap it around a few times and the notch will hold on to it I've done it before my older bikes and it works fine so there we go it's on super tight it's not moving and so I'm just gonna put on the grips now on each side uh, one thing I want to mention is the grips look at the holes in here one hole is bigger and that one is going to be for the throttle and then the smaller one for that side so make sure you look at the holes when putting on the grips I also like to use hairspray to give it a little bit of grip on this some stickiness so it can stick on even though I don't think you need to but I like to do it looks good I'm just gonna align this up so it looks nice but other than that that one's good all right guys I want to show you right here I was able to squeeze this all the way through without shaving off the ends here with the jaggedy part some of you guys aren't gonna have the patience to do that but I was able to do it so if you don't have the patience you know just cut it off but I slid it all the way through and it looks good like that because I didn't want to cut this out to make it look all ugly and it looks really nice like that so there we go got them both on
one last thing make sure to put back on the zip ties to hold in the cables here just like that and also these little tabs right here for uh, the bolts are here to cover them up so that looks nice just like that and we're good to go I decided to do the levers on another video this one took quite a while so I'm just gonna go ride this around test it out see how it's like but uh, I'm gonna put back on the bar in the front here before I do it Hey guys, these bars feel great. Very good at handling. Look at that. I feel like I'm seated in a better position the way I push these bars forward a little bit because you know, these Honda seats, it has a little lump on the bottom, you know, on the back. Most people, they're sitting a little bit further back. But the way I have it set up now, it, uh, it feels great. The position on it, how wide these are, a little bit lower profile. Also, I think I lost my <laughs> that little Allen screw that I had that fell in. I couldn't, uh, I was shaking the bike trying to get it loose and I, I couldn't get it out. So I think it's just lodged in there. Also, if you're wondering, I'm able to get the key in here pretty good. I think because I moved this back a little bit right here because uh, I hear some people have uh, problems getting the key in here but look at that, it's super simple so it's probably just the positioning of this bar right here <laughs> 